<laughs> so, while editing the last episode, the first episode, while editing the first episode of Road to 100 Mill, I bought 126,000 baskets. Did not think they would sell that quickly. And now we're already up to 380k to start the second episode. That is awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode 2 of our Flipping to 100 Mill series. After the last episode, we flipped some more baskets, and then we also flipped a bunch of soul runes. If we had more money, we would have made a ton of money off the soul runes, but we only made just about 40k. Alright, so here we have another bit of a flipping method that maybe not a lot of people think of. Um, basically, what you want to do is go to herbs, and any kind of herb you can clean, buy three of them. And you want three of them because you want to check the margin on the clean, the grimy, and the water filled version to see if any of them are selling for really cheap. It's always worth checking any of the ones you can clean. So, all right, and hopefully your inventory will look something like this afterwards. And then basically you want to sell each one of these for only 5% under and don't go much lower than that because basically you're trying to see if there's a margin here on any of these and if it doesn't sell there's a likely possibility that you might be able to flip it. it doesn't always work but sometimes you can find some really good margins on these hmm where it looks like i might be able to currently flip chocolate dust for a decent bit let's see what they sell for only 75 so there's only a three coin margin and they usually sell for about 80 coins so not a crazy margin but we probably just made about 14k and it might take a couple minutes to sell but it's probably worth it all right so i think we left off last is somewhere around 300k but that was before doing a little bit of flipping on my phone while i was enjoying the super ball party and we did some chocolate dust here, bought at 78 and sold at 82. Not the biggest flip, but it's still worth doing. Uh, you know, sometimes when you see something drop, um, you might want to jump in on it. I thought they would go up a little higher, but they didn't go up too much. So I just sold them at 82. I also bought, also bought a bunch of bronze knives at, I think, 10 coins. I tried to buy them at 5 coins. It didn't work. Then I put an offer in. Yeah, here's my offer. I put in for 10 coins, but... Quite a few, so that's a pretty good flip. Uh, you could definitely make a good amount of money, but they don't not traded a whole ton, so not going to be something you could do all the time. But it's a pretty decent flip for something that's not traded a ton, but it's still kind of traded. It's kind of one of those weird items. Same thing with these oak longbows. Um, I was buying them at 11 coins, spent 110k in that, sold them at 16 for 160. Pretty, pretty simple 50k profit there. And it only took, I think, about maybe an hour to buy them. Maybe an hour and a half. They did take a little longer to sell because I had to wait for the market to hit that 16 coins again. But I figured it eventually would. Then we also had a bunch of maple short bows we bought. We bought some at 176 and we bought a bunch also at 166. Sold out at 180. I was thinking about holding up till they hit like 190 coins again, but that might take quite a while. So I decided to just sell out though. And we also tried to flip some attack potions, it didn't really work, I just sold them for what I bought them for. And oh, I see a pretty good opportunity here to maybe make some money, let's see if I can show it here. We have this used short bow here, and looks like I could buy them for 165 and possibly sell them for around 200. That is the unstrung used short bow, so maybe that would be a good one. So one thing to look at here, it's not really probably worth going for that 165 coins because it's only... You only have a six coin margin here and you want to get as much as you can while it's you know while you're on the lower spectrum you know this is the lowest that they really ever get i mean if you go back you short bows don't really go that low very often so if it's this low you might as well get what you can while it's definitely want to jump in at that uh higher price because there's a good chance if you try to undercut the lower price you might not get as much or any at all because sometimes these margins don't really last that long. All right, so just like you've seen there, I just instantly bought a bunch, but I didn't instantly buy all of them on the market because now I pretty much undercut that person 165. Definitely worth getting what you can, and I'm probably gonna leave this in to see if I can get some more. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty good profit because we bought these at 171. 
should be able to get like 200 coins for a nice juicy profit overnight. And I was actually thinking about doing these baskets again, but it looks like I don't know if someone else is doing them after watching my video, but they are currently not making money, so not going to go back to them. But it was a pretty insane money maker while it was available. And if you look down here at the amount traded, I actually sold about 130,000 at once on the Grand Exchange. <laughs> so, yeah, I basically spent my cash stack and they sold instantly at three coins so all right so there we have the three versions of every herb that you can buy and sell in the grand exchange so all right so i think the first one i'm going to look at is irits because i know sometimes irits have some insane margins uh, but yeah i guess if we look here it has dipped a little bit usually they're hanging about 960 now they're selling it looks like at about 920 but I tried to buy one for 913 and that didn't work. So uh, that'd only be about 10K profit, probably not worth it. But the reason they're so good is because they have a 13,000 buy limit, which is insane. So basically if I had that much money, I could make about, what's that, like 500K? And looks like we just bought some ear release from 900 coins actually. So that's a 60 coin profit off each. Five to seven coins doesn't sound like a whole lot of money, but if you're flipping 13,000 of them, it actually can be a pretty big difference in uh, the price. So maybe I'll jump in on these. I'm not quite sure. I'll we'll have to think about that one. And I think I found the last thing. I'm probably gonna try to flip here. I'm gonna try to get up to 11K or 12K to try to buy maybe a thousand of them. And then see if we can sell them for like, I don't know, 70 to 80 coins. Um, these are wolfbane arrow tips. I uh, think these are for chompy bird hunting. And I mean, not usually traded a ton, but over the last couple of days, it looks like there's been a few people buying them, which is probably why the prices are just outrageous. And it looks like sometimes they actually go up pretty high. Um, so it may actually be worth a small investment of maybe, maybe actually up to 100K if I could get a bunch of them really cheap. But before doing that, we would have to make some money and uh, looks like I'm resorting to the baskets again. This time making some more oranges. Oh, and it looks like my U short bows sold there for 200 coins. So yeah, it doesn't save anymore on the screen, but basically about, that goes from about 280K to 328, so. Not too bad. Yeah, right now I'm gonna do 100 more of these baskets because I kind of want to test out new inventory that I think is probably one of the better ways to do it. And I guess I'll show you that. So basically, you have four baskets, rest oranges, um, and you're gonna be clicking all four, and then you'll have these three left. And basically, you'll have your quantity set to all, and then you wanna click on the orange basket and then on the empty baskets. And yeah, just like that, I think it could become a pretty quick method of doing this. I'm actually probably gonna set it up like that. That might actually be even easier. Cause then I could just click like that. Oh yeah, this is really good. This is actually way faster than I was doing them the other day. I think this time I'm going to look at the timer and see how long that took me, but it, that was pretty quick. So pretty nice, pretty nice way to set up the inventory there with the baskets. We only made about, actually that time we made about 20K, made about 20K, it's pretty good. Actually I'll do 3K because I'm not even spending, I'm only going to put in an offer for like 18 coins I think. Alright, so look at that, here we have these wolf bone arrow tips we bought for 18 coins and sold for 81 um, so we bought a total of 2605 and we sold them for about probably about an average of 83 coins or 82 coins so we basically turned 49k into just about 213k so that's actually a pretty insane flip I might try doing those again. 
I'm not positive, but I know for sure I probably won't be able to flip them after uploading this episode too. So maybe I'll try and go in for another few thousand of these and see if I can get some more. <sighs> All right, I'm going to try this. I'm not sure if this is going to make me money or not. By buying these and then turning them into a set. Buying this and then turning it into a set, I believe. If I can find it, there it is. Looks like it might be able to sell for like 137k. Yeah, it looks like I made actually made about 4k doing that. So I think I'll do that, and I'll just probably do a few sets of that because worst case scenario. I just sell it back at where I bought it because the room doesn't change price by much because of high elk value. Oh, so they did our sell. Uh, didn't take too long. It probably took about maybe three or four minutes to sell four sets and made 16k. All right, I didn't think I'd be able to flip barrels items yet, but looks like. The Verox flail is currently flippable, so I'll probably buy a few of those if I can. Made 24k off the flails, and now that was 192k for the super attacks. Turn those into four doses and see what this sells for. I think I'll go for 425. Oh, they instantly sold. <laughs> okay. And wow, they instantly sold for 425. That's interesting. Okay, so I did find another flip. Uh, it's gonna be these uh, stamina potions, and I'm pretty sure I can straight up buy one for about 6,100 coins. Then turn it into one doses. Let's just see if it sells. Okay, yep. See, that's another one where I'm gonna make quite a bit of money. They really the only limit here is how much money you have to invest in your buying limit so okay they're selling uh it might be worth the wait to sell them a little slower there we go 636k that's a pretty nice profit so let's do this a few times and see how much money we can make and i'm kind of curious as to how, who would really be buying one dose stamina potions like maybe rune crafters or something and honestly looking at ge track it looks like they're pretty consistently right around 1600 coins for the one dose so, so it looks like this is something you can actually do quite often okay so this is a situation where you probably don't want to check the margin because somebody might obviously see you checking the margin i just bought this for looks like I just bought that for 361 but looking on the G tracker one was sold at one coin about half an hour ago oh wow we found another really good flip here looks like but for this one we're pretty limited in terms of what we can do because you can only buy 50 of these at a time but it looks like uh, they should be right around, at least somewhere around 1k to like 900 coins. And I just bought them for 250. So that's kind of crazy. Okay, so I think for one of the last flips we're going to try and do here is 15,000 oak logs. Really not one of the hardest flips um, to get because they're traded so often. And it looks like I can probably get something like 35 to 42 pretty easily. Um, so we'll try to do that. Okay, so we're logging on here again, looking at our Grand Exchange offers. We did sell those oak logs for 40 coins. We tried selling them at 42 for quite a while. Didn't quite work. So that is a 75k flip still only a five coin margin but 15,000 logs at a five coin margin is a 75k flip pretty dang nice K 
can't wait till I have enough money to do that with use because sometimes they have 30, 40 coin margins, so that's pretty a pretty good thing to do. Then we also bought these then we also bought these super anti-poison three doses for 414. Um, and basically how you want to do this is you just take your price for the three dose. So 414, divide that by three, you get a number, and you times that by four. And in this instance, we were paying 552 coins per every four dose. Yeah, very nice one there to end up the episode. Looking at our cash stack now, we are over 1.1 mil after just a few flips. Um, this is just a few days of doing AFK flips. Really don't have enough money, I think, to be doing flipping during peak times yet. And yeah, I just want to say really appreciate the support on the last episode. It's doing very well. I believe it's already one of my most watched YouTube videos for RuneScape. Also have gained a bunch of subscribers since then. Um, it had a, quite a bit of likes on that video as well. So that was pretty motivating to see that support. Um, and yeah, for the next episode, I'm not going to try and make a date because the last one I was like, okay, I can upload the next episode episode like Sunday and it just wasn't going to happen. Um, but I do believe that my next upload will probably be a hardcore Iron Man video as I'm getting pretty close to a finished video. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching the videos and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.